946 on this Saturday morning. Time now to imagine it with Carl Nelson. He's the chief scientist at the Imagination Station. And uh, you're, you're talking about some of the currency that we see in front of you. That's why we have the video monitor so we can see up close here. Exactly. But, but what is happening? Okay, next week is Chemistry Week and the theme is colors in the world around us. So I thought what better way to tie chemistry with colors but to go way back to the ancient alchemists and try to turn a copper penny into a golden penny. Oh, all right. Is it possible? Is it possible? I don't know. All right. We're going to find out. <laughs> so that's why we got the TV here so you can actually see a sort of up close view. I'm going to take a 19, uh, not 19, a 2015 penny. We're going to cool it down to liquid nitrogen. I want to get it really, really cold. This is 320 degrees below zero. That's Tony, cold. you're going to need this hammer. Okay. You need to understand what makes up a penny before we can try to make one into a golden penny. Okay. okay. After 1983, pennies became a zinc core, about 98% zinc, with a little bit of copper on the outside. Okay. Right. That's what this penny is. We're going to sort of examine it. I'm going to put it on this anvil. You're going to whack it with that hammer, and we're going to see what it looks like okay. inside. I need you to exonerate me here, too, yes. because we can destroy this legal tender if we're Go ahead and defrauding get it. legally. Hard. Harder? Hard. OK. That, that, may, that may, I don't know. Let's find out. No. No, it did. It okay. did. OK, look at that. That's perfect. <laughs> so what you can see here is that the side of the penny is still sort of coppery, yeah. but the inside is like a grayish metal. I don't know if you can see that or not. Wow. That's the zinc. This penny is useless to us. Okay, we're not going to use that. Sure. What we want is a penny made in before 1982, which okay. is solid copper. So I collected a bunch of those. I put them in this beaker filled with zinc granules and a little um, alkaline solution. And what that does is causes the zinc to plate on top of the copper. Okay, <laughs> it takes like 10 minutes or so. So right. what I got was this, a whole bunch of pennies that kind of look... They look like dimes. They look like dimes, or I would say they look a little bit silverish. Yeah. Right? So we're on our way. We're going from copper to silver. We ne need to take the next step to gold. Okay. Right? And you're going to do that with the magic of this torch. <laughs> what we're going to do is we have these pennies are almost like the reverse of the 2015 penny. They're a copper core with zinc on the outside. Oh, I want right. you to melt that zinc into the copper using this torch. So right you just kind of wave it over it until on they the turn. Yeah, that's fine. Until they turn a golden color. Just keep a little bit slower, a little bit slower. Hold it on there because you want to heat them up. Focus on the two on the front there. Oh, oh, you see, it's happening, it's happening. Go to those. Okay, oh, come back down wow. to these two. Just kind of hold it there for a second. We need to melt that zinc into, <laughs> perfect. Go back to that other one just a little bit more. Give it a, oh, that's nice. Okay, back away. All right, that is perfect. There's your creme brulee. There are your, I don't know if you can make that out or not, but those are like a, a more of a golden color. And is it really gold? No. What we've done is we've made an alloy of brass. <laughs> it's a copper rich alloy of brass that has sort of that golden color in it. Wow. But we can cool those down and you can have those as a souvenir. It's kind of cool. Now, you might ask, why didn't we just use the 2015 penny? Because that's got zinc and that's got copper in it too. But it's in the wrong order. Right. Go ahead and blast these pennies. So what happens? Just, let's find out what they're happens. They're nice and shiny, too. They're nice and shiny. They're brand new, 2015. Just hold it on one penny and just don't move. We're going to blast it. Turns out that zinc has a relatively low melting point. And if you blast it long enough, that zinc will actually melt and you'll just get a little slug. <laughs> so it's not going to work to try to, OK, I think you're good there. Oh, well, this is too much fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just get this like slug of, of liquid zinc. Oh. So that's why we have to work with the solid uh, pre-1983 penny, coat a little bit of zinc on it, melt it together, make an alloy, and you get a golden penny. The colors and wonders of the world around us. Thank you very yeah. much, Carl, and please don't try that at home. We were doing this for demonstration and educational purposes. That's, that's right. why, you know, it's okay. Can you use these as legal tender once they're, once they're gold? You know, the intent is not to defraud people. So right. if you're trying to pass it off as a golden penny, that would be not bad. really gold. All but right. if you explain the science behind it, you're golden. There. <laughs> See? And that, that, we'll leave you with that on this week's Imagine It. But we also want to leave you with where you can find all of these crazy experiments down at the Imagination Station, all in the sake of education and science at One Discovery Way. Open today and uh, open tomorrow as well from noon until 5. Thanks very much, Carl. Sure. We're going to turn it now over to the boys with a wrap of your Football Friday.